recent weeks, threats against schools have increased across the East. And this includes a rise in bomb threats. WNCT's Josh Birch breaks down the numbers. He reports from New Bern. February 15th, 2018 began as a normal day for students at Grover C. Fields Middle School in New Bern, but things would quickly change. We begin tonight with the evacuation of a New Bern Middle School due to a bomb threat. The evacuations not only impacted the learning at Grover C. Fields where the threat was made, but also another area school where those evacuated were taken. You have to transport every student safely to their evacuation point. Um, you have to account for every student at your evacuation point. At Grover C. Fields, there's more than 600 students. In a climate where threats towards schools are occurring more frequently, the toll it takes on school districts is also growing. We address those issues on an individual basis. Beyond school shooting threats, data from the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction also shows bomb threats are up significantly, the highest total coming last school year when 89 bomb threats were called into schools across our state. That's an increase of more than 74 percent since 2012. Hundreds and literally thousands of people will be impacted by one social media post. It's just not worth it. Greenville Police Chief Mark Holtzman says these threats also take their toll on area law enforcement. You know, 8 to 10, 12, 14 officers are still going to go out. And again, that's just because the size of the school. With more threats, the cry wolf effect is always a concern as people may let their guard down. That's going to go to leadership. You have to take it serious from a school board and from a law enforcement perspective. In New Bern, Josh Birch, 9 on your side. Right now, the State Department of Public Instruction does not track school shooting threats made on social media. WNCT reached out to see if it's something now being considered. So far, we have not received a response.